I don't know if it's the dark skies, the clean air, the gorgeous scenery, or the amazing fishing. But every year I find myself driving hundreds of miles north from my home in Pennsylvania to the North Main Woods. This area is truly spectacular. It's privately owned and largely uninhabited, which gives rise to some of the most untouched fisheries in the nation. It's also home to something very unique. Unknown to a lot of people, the North Main Woods house habitat for a very special species of fish found nowhere else in the lower 48. Salvolinus alpinus, the Arctic char. I've always wanted to target this incredible fish ever since I saw it in a fishing book my parents bought for me when I was eight. This plan only finally came to fruition when Tight Loops' amazing film on Maine Arctic Char aired in July of 2021. Their rarity and insane colors hit the nail on the head for me. Then, in May of 2023, after two years of rigorous research and planning, my friend Miles and I were ready to make it happen. <laughs> Anyways. I'm gonna put a, a little bit of butter in the thing. Yeah, I mean. Where's the salt and pepper? We should just eat it all. Oh, we are eating it all. Good. <laughs> it's very tacky wearing the hoodie of a place you're visiting while you're visiting it, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I'm a, I'm a true local learner. Yep. Ah! <laughs> the grease. Poor bacon almost died. <laughs> Let me. Oh my god, that was. Okay. <laughs> the only thing that I will mention is when we're fishing and we have GoPro for the drawing, do your best. The last sad, <laughs> the last sad piece of bread. Breakfast sandwich going down the gullet. Oh, no, dude, what did you do to my piece of cheese? Okay. Mm. I'll compile this into one plate. Uh, if you don't use it on this trip, are you gonna keep it or? Just oh, I'm definitely gonna keep it. Okay. I'll definitely be making some crazier scents in the future, so. Like Alaska. True. I mean, probably two years out, but true. <laughs> so you have it 
You always have it like angled up. <laughs> All right. Ooh. So clean. It's funny because the North Main Woods on the map goes into Southern Maine. Oh. I heard you can eat trillium, but I don't really know anything about it, so. Hey, if you, if, if. Oh God. Oh God. The more you struggle, the more the mud. So. Probably rather the canoe, right? Yeah, this thing is Wait, huge. No. no, it's just a smaller metal canoe. Uh, let's use the fiber. Let's use this one. We don't need the the metal one. The metal one will be more more difficult. Oh, there's an anchor. Lovely. Well, it's just a rock, but this is a huge canoe, dude. There's also, and it's a paddle. And it's a paddle. Eighty ropes in there. <sighs> old town, of course. Got to have the old town in Maine. Dude. We're here. Incredible. I didn't really document the past couple days, but Miles and I, we hiked in miles yesterday. We did like three something miles trying to find a boat, trying to find a canoe or something at this pond to fish with. And we couldn't find it. There was no trail. We were, we thought we were out of luck, but fortunately today we found two beautiful canoes with paddles and anchors. So now we know we don't need to bring a paddle and anchor down here but it is perfect and we are ready to fish. We're just gonna do some last minute packing this canoe. Then we're gonna head out in the water and catch some fish. We're gonna catch some char today, buddy? Hell, hell yeah. All right guys, this is Miles from Nighthawk Fishing. I'll leave his link in the description. Please make sure to go uh, subscribe to him. Subscribe to me as well. Let's go catch some Arctic char. Dude, it's happening. It is happening. It's happening. Get it on the side here. And then I can. <laughs> we're off, baby. We're gonna, we're gonna have to both on Okay. All right, you want to just like, you put it like the mouth of the thing. Fish? <laughs> it's peaceful. We're here. We're here. Imagine there's just fish everywhere all over the screen. Though this is the big fish place. I'm looking for, if we really wanted quantity, we'd go to. Yeah, I mean, their, their car, their car would yeah. yeah 9.4 feet. There's a lot of grass down there too. Let's, there's a lot of grass down there too. Let's keep it moving. Should we go to the other side of the point where we saw the drop off or? Wow, it is impossible to turn this thing alone. <laughs> 12 feet. And there's grass. So many midges, Jesus. Yeah, all right, I'm gonna check now, right now. Uh, so the yeah? Yeah, that way. All right, I'm gonna check. Oh, I think I see a dock over there. That might be for the plane. Because I could have sworn. 17, it's 17, let's fish right here. Right. And I don't see weeds, so we might be, that's perfect actually. All right, anchor going down. Oh, and it broke. <laughs> Guess we'll find out. I don't know if that's gonna work, but. All right, guys, we're just gonna be casting around a little spoon. Nothing special. Hopefully it works, I guess. 
I'm probably only gonna take a couple casts of this because I want something heavy. Yeah, just for casting distance, and I feel like I can slow roll a bigger spoon better. Yep, all right, we should move. It's gonna be interesting trying to figure this place out. Yeah, we got, we got time. It'll be interesting if the tactic is having to sit in 40 feet of water. Yeah. It's definitely a different type of pond. We're in 20. Then we should go a little deeper. Yeah, sure, but... yeah. <sighs> right, yes, sir. 28. All right, perfect. <laughs> There's something on the bottom. Hold up. Fish? Yeah, I'm marking something. About 18 feet down. I'm assuming that's got to be a char or something. <laughs> oh. <sighs> <sighs> All right, just drop it over the, uh, the left side. Ah. Ah. From here, we spent the next several hours paddling around, trying different depths, but no char were found. We got bored, so we jumped ship, explored a cool campsite, and played around with some northern red belly days. Once the rain started to kick off, we noticed fish surfacing, so we hopped back in the canoe and went to the fish. Oh, something just shoot. Where? Oh, right up there? Yeah, that was a solid fish. Probably a big brookie. Really hoping that as soon I mean, it's not really going to get warmer today because of the rain, but really hoping that as the day progresses, some more fish start to come up. Oh, fish surfaced our way out there again. All right, let's see how. What? Oh, shit. I feel like those have got to be brook trout, but I don't really know. Damn, 47 feet. Fishy. What? Holy shit, you got him. <laughs> no way. Casting on a dry fly fish. That's ridiculous. Dude, there's more too. Dude, cross your, this is a PB. <gasps> Dude, they're everywhere. Oh my god, it's a gorgeous fish, whatever it is. Oh, it's a nice brook trout. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Bring him this way. Yes! Yes! yes there we go, baby. That was probably that same fish that jumped in. It was, because I, I, I meant to cast way past him. I, like, I literally landed it on his head. There we go, but Am I recording? Yep. Hey, let's go. Miles is on his PB brook trout here. Native brook trout, that is. I know you can't see my face, it's okay. Yeah. Should we keep this fish or? Sure. It's got black spot, is that okay? Yeah, yeah. I just saw a rise out there.
Why'd you bring that one? I don't know, because it was green and looked cooler. Good. What? There's an entire colony of black flies in your head. Like, how many would you say? Like, 40. Oh my god. Only on your head. <laughs> so stupid. They're like taking shelter on my head because of the rain. Probably. Not on mine though. Oh, rise. Hello. Oh my god, big fish on bottom, dude. Oh my gosh. Do you know how far off bottom they have to be for you to mark them? I don't know. Honestly, the little bottom bouncing marabou jig might not be a bad idea. That's exactly what I was thinking. I think these ones sitting right in the bottom might be char. Is that, that's not even a fish, is it? No. What? Oh, I got a fish. Oh my god, it's, it's a fucking char. Oh my god, really? Oh! Oh! Ah, let's go! Yes. Let's go! Yes. Dude, bottom bouncing the spoon! Fucking bottom nice. bouncing baby, let's go! Oh, he's bleeding, isn't he? His face is pretty bad. Oh. Alright, get him back in the water. Give me the oh, this thing is not living. You don't think he's living? No. How the hell? Just cut the line. Oh my gosh, dude, there's the first arctic char of the trip. Very pale, very cool one, it was down deep. Caught a bottom mounting a spoon. I think we found our tactic. It really sucks to have to eat such a rare fish, but um, he got the spoon pretty bad on the underside of the chin and he's just not gonna survive. Uh, you are allowed to keep him here and this is gonna be a delicious meal, so, um, you know, it'll be put to good use, you know. It just happens when you're fishing that sometimes you hook him too deep and this one just happened to be an arctic char, so we have a brook trout over there, and we'll have a good meal later. Oh, so cool. Damn, bro, I think I know how we catching them. <laughs> All right, well, actually, now, I was going to say, I'll pick up my small spoon again, but that was a quarter ounce spoon. Yep. And a fairly small char from them living. That is so pretty. Do you want a picture on your... Camera, camera, or oh my god, <gasps> that was a fish, dude. We might have figured them out. And they say you have to use these crazy flies for them. That was 100% a fish. What? Oh my god, of course, it wants to go the other way. Oh, there's a huge fish on bottom. Huge fish on bottom? There was a big fish on bottom. I think I'm gonna go with a. Uh... It's brutal out here. Rain. 
cold. Not many fish. Hopes are high, bites are low. <laughs> Hopefully we can catch something else. But I just want to be warm. Such a dumb idea not to bring a warm. I'd be fine right now if I had a good rain jacket. And waterproof pants. Okay, waterproof pants would be a... Oh, dude. What? Waiters. <sighs> <laughs> dude, waiters uh, with a rain jacket, you would be bone dry. I didn't even bring my good rain jacket, though. This is the only one I have. Oh, I thought you brought two. No. Yeah, honestly, if we go back to the car to bring back the stuff we don't need, we should just come back in our waiters. So then we can wear dry pants underneath and at least... Mine will be dry, too, because they've been inside out in the car for, like, two days now. Yeah. Just for example, this was all light gray. Yeah. Oh, you're really wet. I am soaked. I'm freezing. <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> Where are the brook trout? Where are the char? <laughs> I don't know. They're hard. We made it! Oh god, Okay, that's good enough. Okay. I know the next thing to do. <laughs> yeah, I'm carrying... <laughs> All right, guys, we're back in the car. We got absolutely soaked. It was pouring. We didn't have proper, proper rain gear. And being soaked to the bone with 40, like, 8, but much colder with the rain temperatures was just brutal. We did catch some fish. You know, I got a char. Miles got two brook trout. Um, so we just decided to come back to the car, dry, warm up, and... Towards the evening, hopefully there's an evening bite and we're gonna head back down there and hopefully catch some fish. But for now, we're just listening to some rock and blasting full heat. So I'll see you guys when we're walking back down to the pond. So, see ya. And this time of the waders, we will stay dry. But will the fish bite in this last two and a half hours of sunlight? We shall find out. <laughs> No way, no way, no way, no way. What? No way. What? Dude, there's a fish like streaking up to my spoon. <laughs> just sitting there. Oh, it's. I guess I just wanted to check it out because now that I moved it, he doesn't want it anymore. That was funny. So stupid, buddy. That's be freezing. It's late May, it shouldn't be this cold. Would not be if it wasn't raining. Yeah. What time are we, do you think we should get off the water? Today? Yeah, sunset's like 8.15 probably. I mean... What are the odds you think the wind calms down? Zero. Tom, oh my god, dude, we're not fishing tomorrow. What's the wind doing tomorrow? Like 12 to 15. Oh. Nah, <laughs> we're sitting inside all day tomorrow. <laughs> what do we do to deserve this? Yeah, we're gonna find it. Hey, you killed the tar, that's what I... That's it's, what yeah, I did it. I'm sorry. So you just trying to keep your hands warm? Yes. Okay, I don't blame you. I don't have any pockets. My, my non-digging hand is, is like... Red. I should. I literally have gloves in the car too. <laughs> I wasn't that prepared. Yeah, it's a good idea to get out of here tonight too, because the roads are only gonna get worse. Yeah. <sighs> Next time we come here, we should bring some dinner bells. Yep. <laughs> Doubt they've ever seen one of those before. Think of how well like a medium tungsten dinner bell would be for these dudes. It'd be great. 
Yes! That's probably a char. Please, 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 please. Oh. Here we go, Miles just got oh, a char. Yes. Oh. I turned off my camera thinking that it wasn't recording, but he's got one. And Dude, all it takes is just time. Freezing, terrible weather, could not be any worse. Okay. And Miles has got himself a char. Guy. Yes. Let's go, baby. Dude. Dude, right now, the list is getting Arctic char. <laughs> dude, these long, miserable hours of grinding really do pay off, dude, don't they? They do. <sighs> it is so cold. Run the heater while we're putting the tent away and cooking it. Get the car boiling. Oh, yeah. Dude, on the bright side, like, we've got char. Got <laughs> All right, which direction are we going? Which direction is it? Uh, it's behind us, right? It's behind us? No, no, we're going right. Right? Yeah. <laughs> You see what we put up with guys <laughs> to catch the fish for you? I'm so mad at myself that I turned the GoPro off thinking that I wasn't recording. Because I missed that crucial moment of you catching a char. Like, the realization moment was off camera. Which was like the moment. All good, bro. All good. No! You, it doesn't count because we didn't get it on camera fully. You have to delete, you have to delete your pictures. Get them. Let's, uh, let's send all those out. Yep. Uh, here we are. Landfall. <laughs> Standing up is gonna hurt, I just know it. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Flip this boy over. Or oh, I guess you got it. <laughs> That's good enough. At last. At last. Oh. Wow, it is really dark on the camera right now. Alright guys, you cannot see me, but we're done fishing for the day. I'll see you when we're cooking up the char. And Brookie. We got the noodles going, the fish is done. I mean, look at that, that just looks ridiculous. Try some of the char. All right, that piece was really good. Really good. <laughs> Not quite as good as brook trout, but very, very good. Like that pristine, deep, clear water fish that like just feeds on microorganisms. They're just going to taste so much better than fish that only feed on like minnows or something. But it's freezing. I want noodles. Warm noodles. Yes. I, like I will it. see you. I will see you in a minute when we consume the rest of this. In the car. In the car. It is so cold out there and it's raining that we decided to eat in the car. But it just, look at this meal. We've got some noodles. We've got brook chow, arctic char. 
this is the life. We had a cop roll on up on us. We had like some old lady or something that was that asked us to go back to their house if we wanted to. And we were like, yeah, we're good. No, thanks. Not trying to get kidnapped in northern Maine. But they're all just nice up here. So maybe they were just trying to be nice. But how are the noodles? They hot? Mm, so warm. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, I'm going to dig in. For being so cheap, they're just so good, aren't they? How much are they per packet? Like a dollar, a dollar twenty-five maybe. So good, so easy, so warm. Yes, it is late May. It's like forty degrees outside, and tomorrow's gonna also be like forty degrees, and the next day it's gonna be like seventy. And the next day will be like 82. Crazy weather up here right now. So, we're not even going to fish tomorrow. We're literally just going to wait it out because rain, 40 degree weather, 15 mile an hour winds is just, that's a, that's a big no. No, it's miserable to cook in right now. I can't even imagine yeah. fishing. <laughs> it was miserable enough when fishing today. No. We have the fish to eat. This is this is the life, you know? People don't really understand why I do what I do. Make these crazy sends and live in my car and eat these weird meals. But it's just, it's so fun. It's like living the way that I want to live. And I wouldn't have it any other way. Plus, I get to catch some cool fish. Meet some cool people along the way. Brook trout. Mouth. Mouth. Napkin needed. Yeah, I didn't think of that. BRB. Snag me one too? Yeah, I got you. Am I the rightful owner of 319 West Chelton Avenue? Thank what? you. Wait, um, what? You know, I probably am not. You got a random text from somebody? I got a bunch of random texts. All right, everyone, we're back in the car. We finished our delicious brook chow and char meal, but it is time to go to sleep and hopefully we don't get kidnapped in this random parking lot. We're gonna continue fishing in a couple days when the weather uh, gets much, much better, much warmer. And I'll see you guys then. We're gonna just do random stuff for the next couple days and hopefully we'll catch some fish. So I'll see you guys then. But for now, sleep. This is way too off-roady, like this just doesn't make any sense. This sign says it all, you made it. It's funny, all that popping is from rain. Oh my God, dude, they're everywhere. Here, here, here comes a fishing. Oh, he's gonna crush it. Yep. Yeah, he did. <laughs> oh, that's a nice fish, dude. What the heck? What, a, what did I hook here?